Well, as per usual, Cam Hart has a very strong book of drives at Club and Angle on Saturday night, including the heats of the carousel and the Group 3 Norm's daughter are caught up with Cam to discuss their prospects. Well, Cam are enjoying another great season on top of the state premiership as far as the driver's list is concerned, running second behind Jack Trainer on the Metro list. Very strong book of drives on Saturday night. Yeah, we've got some nice drives and, um, you know, it's all going pretty well at the moment. Hopefully we can get a couple of wins under the belt Saturday. In race two, you kick off with Rock Heater for Bailey Duck, a mare that sort of like lost her way of late. Yeah, she has. She's just sort of struggling for a little bit of form, but, you know, I was happy with her first up run here for a while back, and then she just didn't steer quite as well as I would have liked uh, last week, but she was up in grade too, so at her best, um, you know, drawn that where she is, she, she could be the top four, but she's just got to find her best. In the third, number six, Ben Long Valley, consistent, but doesn't win out of turn. Yeah, he is a consistent horse and he's been around a long time, but he always gives his best and you know, he's always an each way hope with the right run. Yeah, the My Ultimates are back in force. This one, My Ultimate Baxter for Jared Orchard. Back from the fifth in the derby, which is back in February, but the trial form would suggest he's ready to run a big race. Yeah, he's trialled really well and, you know, he's a top line three year old and he's come up with a decent enough draw. I think it'd be pretty hard to beat in that race. Yeah, good record, 13 starts, seven wins and three placings. Yeah, he's done everything right throughout his career and, you know, he's a horse with high speed, but he's pretty versatile, and I think it'd be real hard to beat in that race. In race six, the feature of the Norm's daughter, the Group 3, Tay Tay, an exciting win last time, and she's an exciting mare. Yeah, she's really good. She gave me a really good feel last week, and, you know, she went 55 for the long trip in the in the mud, so I was pretty impressed with that, and she's come up with a good draw. I think she'll be the one to beat in that race. Hey, where do you see yourself from gate two, Cam? Yeah, she come out really well. She seems to have good gate speed, so I reckon she'll nearly be in front, and uh, she'll take a bit of catching from there. Very keen to get your thoughts on regular tyre in the uh, trot. Good form as far as stand start back home. Yeah, he's got good stand start form um, in New Zealand, so I think he'll step good and, you know, he's off the front, so I think he'll take a bit of catch and he was really good first up. He had to do it tough and, and just uh, got beat uh, sat last Saturday, so I think he'll be the one to beat in that. Yeah, the big plus, apart from the fitness level, Cam has affected his two main dangers. Majestic Simon dropped the hammer are both off 30. Yeah, that's right. You know, he's probably going to have the advantage obviously from the draws there and um, he'll take a lot of catching. The best of them? Yeah I'd probably say the trotter. Um, he was really good last Saturday and with the advantage like you said over those main two dangers I think it'd be hard to beat. Your beloved uh, Roosters have taken a little bit of a battering as far as the outside backs are concerned. How do you see the confidence levels there? Yeah well I was sort of getting more and more confident as the season went on but um, you know losing Joey Manu is going to be a bit tough for us. Uh, you know, on Sunday, but uh, we'll, we'll still give it a, a red-hot crack. Yeah, I think I can still get the job done, Cam. Thank you, yeah. <laughs>